In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this neon green and plaid sketchbook using duct tape and Coptic stitch binding. Here's a list of materials and tools that I'll be using. I'll be using this duct tape that came in a combo pack. This one pack was just enough for the entire book, but you might want to buy two just in case you need more. First fold 36 pieces of 8.5 by 11 paper in half, running the bone folder across the folded edge. Once they're all folded, make them into signatures by gathering them in groups of four. Take the outer page from one signature and apply the tape on the center of the fold, leaving extra on the ends to fold over on the other side. Then cover the gap with tape and make the paper fold in half again. Tape page back on the signature and repeat this on each outer page of all the signatures. The duct tape messes with the fold, so put all the signatures into a book press or leave some weight on them for a while to make them more flat. Now, using one of the signatures as a template, trace it and cut the cover.
Now on to binding. Double thread the needle with wax thread and tie a knot on the end. Start with the bottom cover and one signature. Sew from the inside of the signature to the outside. And around to the outside cover hole. Then loop around and back into the signature. Repeat this for the remaining holes on the cover. For the last hole in the signature, after you loop around, return the needle into the next signature. Continue the same stitching on the remaining signatures, always looping around the previous signature stitch.
For this book, I wanted to add white thread in the middle. So after sewing three signatures, I'm going to tie this green thread off in a knot on the inside, cut the end off, and start with a new needle threaded with white waxed cotton thread and continue with the same sewing method. After four signatures, I want to return to the green thread, so I'm going to tie the white thread off and return with a new needle with green thread. When you reach the last signature, it's time to sew on the cover. Start by sewing into the cover, loop around once, and then into the signature. For the remaining stitches, loop around the previous signature first, then to the cover. Loop around once, and back into the signature. Continue the same stitching on the remaining holes. Tie off the thread with a knot, tuck it underneath, and cut off the thread. <laughs> 